starts with a boy and how the boy goes through a series of things and you basically end up learning a great lesson from the story on not giving up and the like but you know this boy is going to be given no context at all and i'll move on like he wasn't even introduced unfortunately this is the story of many that live in our world today they live like the boy lived but it ends there they let people and other circumstances define who they are there's probably way more to this boy than meets the eye or than i could ever talk about because if this boy were to write his own story he would say once upon a time they lived a boy who did a lot of things and you know you end up in actually learning a great story at the end from it but because i'm the one writing the story i can just cut it short and it ends there no lesson learned so this boy had no idea who he was he was just he just thought of himself as a very happy go lucky person not caring at all about anyone about what anyone thought about him and he was just unashamedly himself all this changed when he went to a particular school called school x you see in school x being a happy go lucky person was not seen as enough it was not cool the status quo to the pressure to fit the status quo was intense status quo requirements were as follows number one you have to be incredibly smart like Albert Einstein type vibes and number two you have to be super talented like Whitney Houston type voice and Michael Jackson you know just be doing the absolute most when it came to these talent shows number three you have to be awesome at a sport very athletic and number four and definitely not the least you have to be you have to have an iphone i know right have an iphone that's crazy but yeah it was part this boy did not have any of those things he wasn't so smart i mean it was okay he you know was not athletic he couldn't kick a ball to save his life that's how bad he was talent no 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 it was bad and lastly he did not have an iphone so yeah this boy was lied to by the environment that he did not belong he was below average and had no place there he needed to create an environment right that defined how excellent he was and that's a major point you should know he just had to do it and that's a major point to look at how do you actually create an environment that defines how excellent you are you might ask well you just have to imagine it you have to create a mental picture of how good you are at something. Your higher self, you doing incredible in doing amazing things that you never thought of yourself doing. There are lots of speeches on the power of your mind, but you get the point. Let me take you, let me give you an example. So Serena Williams is a tennis player and she had a problem. It was in volley. Volley is a technique in tennis, and she wasn't good at it. So it was making her lose matches and she was losing games because of that and it threatened her ranking as number one in the world because it made her lose matches. And so it was a problem. So when you know what her coach did? Her coach walked up to her and was like, Serena, I think you are I think I think I think you are fantastic at volley. I think you are just great at volley. And she took it and I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Like just on the surface. She went to play the next match. She lost. Yeah. But so that she actually took it and I was like, wait, I am good at volley. I am actually good at volley. And the next match she won, she went on to win multiple tournaments and she basically, you know, was number one for a very, very, very long time. And yeah, speaking of number one, if you think that you cannot be like Serena Williams, then let's look at like the number one. One, you know, it starts with one, it goes on to be one, two, three, all the way to billions, trillions, zillions. So, like the number one, after all, you are one person, you have great potential. You may be at your one today, but you have the potential to be at a billion tomorrow. Just take that in. So, let me go back to this boy in school. So, one day he decided to do the undoable one. That is an undoable. He was walking down the stairs with his art teacher, you know, casually, like, school had just closed and 
you know, just walking down the stairs. And he saw Abish on the floor. And he decided to pick it up. And then he didn't know with any intention of being noticed whatsoever. He just did it very instinctively, just to, you know, help his environment and to keep, you know, the environment cleaner. Yeah, that was what that was his intention. So anyway, fast forward to the next day, you know, there's assembly, like everyone comes to school, cars come in, like, and so there's assembly. And the assembly, everyone forms cubes. It's a very formal thing, neatly dressed. And the principal comes in front and she basically gives an announcement and the teacher on duty comes with this big, it's formal, serious. So this teacher walks up in front of the stage and comes to, um, in front of everyone and comes to like, to everyone. Yesterday, I was walking down the stairs with this guy and he decided he said to pick up rubbish. I want to commend him. He basically narrates the whole story to them and you could see that after what he paused because we were expecting some form of loud cheering him. Oh wow, like everyone, but no. <clears throat> Place was silent. There was this brief awkward silence, and everyone was just like, This guy has some two friends, right? They were the only ones clapping and making noise. So it was very, but the whole place was just silent and it was just memory here and there, you know. Apparently, everyone was just saying how gross what he did was, and that picking up trash is not cool. It didn't fit any of the status quo requirements, you know, it was, it was off. For doing something that he liked, he became the laughing stock of the day. For doing something that he thought was perfect, he was basically ridiculed. And it, that, that, that actually taught him a valuable lesson about how if you want to do something, don't do it to impress others. Because they, have, they all have they all have things they have all haters will hate. But what you can do is just to feel free and be yourself. If you want to do something, don't do it to impress someone. Just do it to, to, to impress yourself. Impress yourself. I'll do yourself. Do something that makes you happy. You happy. I'd like to end like this. I'm sure you guys have it all figured out that this boy was actually me. And I definitely wasn't perfect. Believe you. I wasn't perfect. I did not have it figured out. I was, as I said, those types of school requirements, I was nowhere near. But I was myself. And I thought of that as being enough. In doing the littlest things, like picking up rubbish, I did my best. You know, I did my absolute best in that. And that boy is me. My name is Manuel Kim Sakoji. And I was myself. Point is, you should be too. Thank you very much.